Cars passed over the Machias Dyke on Thursday, just 24 hours after it was completely submerged by the Machias River. On Wednesday, the town office flooded with an inch of water. Now boxes are on tables and fans work to dry the floor. We had a number of businesses um, that were flooded. We had a number of vehicles that, that uh, couldn't be moved. I mean, the water just w once it crested, it moved so fast. Just across the street sits one of those businesses, Coastal Aesthetics Boutique. I was standing there with the owner of the building. You could see the tide turn and there was a surge and then the water just continued to rise for the next couple hours and filled the place. There's expected to be another storm coming through here this Saturday with heavy rainfall, wind and snow. And on top of that, according to Machias' town manager, the town's highest tide of the month will be here on Saturday at around 1130. It's going to be that late morning um, 1130 hour uh, that we will see what happens. Despite the circumstances, Kitchen says perseverance will always be Machias' strongest trait. Yes, we, you know, we will persevere. We bounce back good. I take a lot of pride in this. This is my baby. It's not about the money. I mean, it is about money, but it's not about the money because when I can't be here and I can't be behind my chair, I'm not there for people. For Machias area residents to stay up to date on the storm and road conditions, visit Machias Town Office Facebook page and Machias Police Department Facebook page. In Machias, I'm Doug Banks for ABC7 and Fox 22 News.